Hello everybody, I hope everyone is doing well and welcome back. So in today's video, I'm doing something a little bit different and something that has been highly, highly requested. I'm going to be showing you my hair routine and how I curl my hair to look like this. So I really hope you enjoy today's video and find it helpful. Before I get into the shower, I would love for you to subscribe if you aren't already. It would mean so much to me and let's get to it. So here's me realizing that my job is sometimes a little weird, but I dig it. I like weird. But here's my hair a little wet but not a lot and here's my hair wet wet so the first thing i go in with is shampoo and i've been using function of beauty this isn't sponsored i pay for the service myself this is my second round of it and i've been really thoroughly enjoying my time with it honestly it's a fantastic service so i start by lathering it up all over my hair and then i like to take this little scalp massager I got it off of Amazon and it feels amazing and it also ensures that I get all the gunk and dry shampoo off of my scalp and it's also incredible at working in between my tracks of my extensions. This little nifty tool has been a game changer for me. And then I rinse it all out as you do. Then I move on to conditioner and I use the Function of Beauty one once again. And I like to focus this just on the ends of my hair just because I find that it really weighs down my hair or I get really greasy quickly if I bring it up towards the top of my hair. Then I rinse that all out, get out of the shower, and then I'm on to other products after I towel dry. I first like to go in with this Rain Cry Brilliance Detangling Spray. It's really great because it helps with detangling, but it also protects my hair a lot and it adds a lot of moisture, which is great. So I focus that on the ends of my hair and I really make sure I do a thorough job because the stuff is really, really great. And then I move on to this Verb Leave-In Mist. And this one's a really great one. I actually broke the spray, so I have to pour it out onto my hands, but this one's great. It absorbs really quickly, and it doesn't leave my hair feeling heavy or oily at the ends. There's been a lot of leave-in conditioners that feel really heavy, or it looks like I just never washed out the conditioner, but this one's fantastic. And then the last thing I go in with is this r Co Dallas Thickening Spray. And I focus this at the top of my hair around the crown just because I do have very naturally fine and thin hair that doesn't really give a lot of volume. It's like one of those sea sprays but it doesn't leave your hair feeling crispy at all. It's fantastic. Then I do a careful brush through of my hair with my wet brush, really holding on to my extensions so I don't yank them out. Then I like to part my hair real quick just so that my hair lays the way I want it to. And then finally, I put in this cool scrunchie by Kitsch, and it is like an absorbing one, so it stops up a lot of water that's left in my hair. And that is it. Now let's move on to the styling portion. So I just finished doing my makeup. I love how it turned out, little side note. But now I'm gonna take out this scrunchie. So now my hair is around 70% dry, I would say. So now I'm going to dry the rest of it with my T3 hair dryer. And I like to go in with a hair dryer because I have naturally curly hair on the bottom here under my extensions. So I just need to kind of straighten that out and smoothen that out so it blends nicely into my extensions. Once I part my hair to actually curl it, I'll talk a little bit more about my extensions, but I'm just gonna quickly dry the rest of my hair. I like to dry it in two sections just so it's a little bit more thorough. So now that my hair is freshly dried, and look, it's hilarious because my natural hair is starting to get longer than my extensions. I would chop this, but I'm changing up my hair this Friday, so there's no point in that. So now to curl my hair, I use two tools. I use my curler from T3, and this is the one with the interchangeable barrels. I like to use the medium-sized barrel, and then this is my straightener. Uh, it's by Aria Beauty. My mom gifted this to me a couple years ago, so thank you, Mama. This is my favorite curler I've ever tried. It actually works 
fantastically. So while those heat up, I'll talk a little bit about my extensions and I'll show you, I'll move up a little bit. I have a beaded weft. They're not in right now for length. They're definitely in for volume and thickness uh, just because I have naturally very fine and thin hair. <laughs> You can kind of see them right there. They're just connected to my head with these little micro beads and it's really easy. They just are very comfortable. You can put your hair up or down and I find the upkeep to be very simple. I just have to go visit the salon every three weeks or so just so that she can tighten up the beads and put them closer to my scalp. I did have a different type of extension in the past. Well, I guess two. I had clip-ins before. I didn't really enjoy those just because I found that I got a lot of like tension alopecia in some areas which is really bad and I also got the keratin infused ones those I <laughs> wrecked my hair so bad so bad for your hair like I lost 50% of my fine thin hair and it was just the worst and I had like bald spots in areas just because they would just twist and twist and twist and make like little dreadlocks maybe I just had someone who wasn't really good at installing them who did them or who knows but this technique she uses a lot of micro beads as well so there's an equal distribution of weight and everything so I don't feel any pain or tugging anywhere and my hair underneath and everywhere has been growing so much way more than in my entire life so my hair has been super healthy with these ones and I don't see myself stopping anytime soon they have changed my life but I think my tools are heated enough now. So I like to put up the crown area of my hair and kind of like the first row of extensions I've got up. So I start by taking little sections of hair and then I curl my hair away from my face and I like to do it all in one direction. I don't like to alternate just because I find that my hair gets too piecey that way and I just really like the way that this looks. I like to leave the last little bit of hair straight and that's why I use a straightener at the end just to straighten those bits. I really like the look of that. I've been doing that for years. I'm just going to continue doing that. I like to take quite big chunks just so that they're looser. I only start brushing them out when they're completely cooled. So then I don't lose that curl right away. I'm just gonna do the same on this side. And I always um, brush out each section just so that I get a very smooth curl. <laughs> That's crazy. Also, I forget the actual brand of my extensions. It's not Bellamy. I know Bellamy has been very popularized online and they are really good. I just know that she gets them special ordered. I don't remember what they are. I'm going Friday so I'll ask her and I'll put it in the description box. Also I've had these same extensions for almost a year now and they're still in perfect condition. When I go Friday I'm getting some new ones put in and I'm just gonna get her to sew on little clip-ins just in case if I ever want a, a break from them but I still want some thickness or something. So now I'm going to move on to the top layer and I basically do the same thing. And for the front pieces, I take much smaller pieces just because I want them to be really defined. Now I'm just gonna quickly do the same thing to this side. Last piece. Do you guys like how I've been alternating between <laughs> the two brushes I have in front of me? It's like whichever one is closer to me I pick up. <laughs> okay, so there we go. So I like to just take my fingers and pick up my straightener and I'll just go over the ends to define them and straighten them out even more and kind of make sure they're all going the same angle because sometimes when you curl them, they can be going like pew, pew. I just love the straight ends. I feel like it just makes it look a lot more effortless or something. And finally, right before I brush them out, I like to go in with a hair oil. And I use this Devi Ness Oi Oil. And I like to take three pumps of this, really massage it into my hands, and then I'll take it through the ends first, just because they need the most hydration and attention. And then I'll kind of go up the curls. And then finally, I'll do my final comb through. 
And I don't use any hairspray just because I find that my hair really holds onto these curls nicely since I do have naturally curly hair. And the extensions actually do the same, like they hold onto curls very nicely. But that is all I do to my hair. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and found it helpful. Let me know what you'd like to see next in the comments down below. I'll make sure to link all the products and tools that I use in the description down below as always. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye!